Hey guys, MJ675 here, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison between all of the Clone Scout Walker, ATRT, whatever you want to call them, sets that LEGO has released over the years of LEGO Star Wars sets. So, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into these sets. So, the first set that I have here, which is this one, is the 7250 Clone Scout Walker, released in 2005. It has 108 pieces and originally retailed for $10. The next set that I have which is right over here in the middle here is the 75002 AT I think 501st ATRT or just ATRT but the 501st ATRT to be more specific which contains 222 pieces and originally retailed for $20 and over here on the right I have the most recent rendition of the Clone Scout Walker which is the 75261 I believe it is Clone Scout Walker 20th Anniversary Edition, which has 250 pieces and retails for $30. All of these prices are U.S. prices, in case you were not aware. So, before we compare all of these, I think it's a good idea to get a feel for what all of these sets are all about. Um, I've already taken a look at this set here in my review of it, which will be carded on the screen, so if you guys do not know all the ins and outs and what this set's about, then go watch my review. I will go into a lot of detail on the set there. But to keep the video short, um, I have not taken a look at either of these two sets in a comparison or review before. So now, before we compare them, we will do that. So first, I will start out with the minifigure from the 2005 Clone Scout Walker. We'll do all that stuff, and then we'll take a look at the 2013 one. And then we will get along with the comparisons. If you're already familiar with all these sets, um, there is a timestamp in the description for you guys who can, for those of you who just want to skip straight to the comparison, go click that timestamp or go to whatever time it says, however, however that will end up working, and it will put you right at the comparisons. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the minifigure from the 2005 version of the Clone Scout Walker. The original Clone Scout Walker only did contain one minifigure, and it was this Recon Corpse Trooper here, so... Very cool figure, if I just spin around you can see, very nicely done back printing and torso printing, no leg printing on this figure, but it does come with the retro style of blaster, which is the megaphone piece with a stud on the end, so very cool. Um, as you could probably maybe tell from this, my figure has seen a bit of play and play wear and stuff like that, as this was my first Lego set ever, um, Lego Star Wars set at least, as a kid, so very cool. Um, but if we are to remove the helmet, then you can see that it just has a plain black face, and obviously there's holes in there, so that's how you get sort of the black visor out of this figure. So overall, um, not really a whole lot to see here, but I think that with this one figure, they have done quite a decent job for the time. Um, they did come out with a newer version of this in, I believe, 2014, which has a bit more printing and stuff and is a little bit better, but I still quite like this older one for the nostalgia and just looks right to me for some reason. And that that's probably my nostalgia speaking, but yeah. So that's, that is a quick look at the figure from the 2005 Clone Scout Walker. Now let's take a look at the vehicle from that set. Alright, so here is the original Clone Scout Walker. I think it's worth mentioning before I compare these this these sets and take a look at this specific version of the set is that this set did have two different versions. Um, there is a 2005 version, which is when this set was released, and a 2006 version, which is the version that we'll be taking a look at today. I do have both versions, but... I thought that the 2006 version would be a bit more interesting to look at. Um, and there's not really a big difference between any of the versions anyway. It's really only just a, sm a few small differences in pieces. It's just a different piece is used for this part right here, and then the 2x2 two two, um, plates with the axle hole in the middle that are round are a bit different. But other than that, they are effectively the same set. Um, this is just the one that I got originally, so I thought we'd take a look at it and see what it has to offer. So. Starting at the bottom, um, you have your legs. You do have some foot articulation there. You can move the feet a good amount, which is which you know is nice for posing and stuff. You can move the legs and stuff. You can get some pretty interesting poses out of the legs. I actually think that this is probably one of the better posable ones um, out of this because you can you can get some good poses out of all these sets, but this one especially because it's not super heavy at the top. You can get some decent sort of walking thing walking looks out of it which you know that's cool and all so I really do like um, how they've decided to do that um, pretty neat how how that all worked out but 
You kind of have some more armor plating going up the sides of the legs on both sides, um, just like the other ones. Um, then you have sort of these linkages right here that are represented by those pieces. Looks And they look quite good. As far as the gun goes, um, you can rotate this whole thing. You can rotate the gun separately or you can rotate the entire front, whichever you want. And you, you, in order to angle the gun up and down, you have to change the angle of this thing as well. And you could also move this separately, but that's not really important. But, yeah, so, you, in order to change the elevation, you do have to move the whole walker, which is a common feature among all of these sets. But then moving back to right here, you have sort of the cockpit area, which is where you can take your recon corpse trooper. Take his blaster out and that just goes right there in that hole on the side of the build so that holds it in quite nicely. Um, and then I'm not going to put his hands on the handlebars but you get the idea. He can actually reach the handlebars in this set which is quite good. So yeah, once you get once you get there you can he can kind of see over it. So very good. You also do have the antenna here which is in light gray. And you have a bit of detail here on the back as well. So that's, that's pretty nice. Um, overall this is a simple but effective model for the times. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all that there is to the original ATRT set. So now we'll take a look at the figures from the 501st ATRT. Alright, so here are the three minifigures included in the 501st ATRT set. So going from left to right here, we have the Clone Wars rendition of Yoda. We have a 501st trooper, and we have a commando droid captain. So quickly, I'm just going to center this torso a bit because it's kind of bugging me, but... Eh, it's not perfect, but it's better. So now we will take a quick look at all of these figures. I guess we'll start out with the Yoda. Um, this is the pretty standard Clone Wars Yoda. Obviously, they've done a newer version of Yoda since this point, but this figure uses the short legs, which are not posable. They're not the mid-length legs. They're just really short ones. Um, has some torso printing as well as some back printing, which I think suits the figure quite well. And this head is molded, and it's a bit rubbery, so... You know, pretty pretty standard stuff here. Overall, I think they've done a good job on this Yoda figure for the Clone Wars sort of styling and such that the Clone Wars era brought along with it in a lot of those sets. So, now we'll move on to the 501st Trooper, which is probably the most coveted figure in this set, which does have some nice leg printing as well as some torso printing and some blue arms. I really do like the printing on this figure. I think they've done quite a good job here. As well as some back printing, which again, looks nice as well as the helmet. Helmet looks nice and sleek and is very cool and is one of the, I think this was actually one of the first sets to contain the new Phase 2 Trooper helmet mold, so pretty cool to see that. And you, under here you do have the stand war, standard Clone Wars clone face, so not really a whole lot out of the ordinary for the Clone Wars era here, um, which I know is very surprising, but yeah, um, nothing special going on with the rest of this figure. Comes with a standard blaster. So, yeah, that is the 501st Trooper. So now we'll move on to the Commando Droid Captain, who is all the way over here on the right. Um, as you can see, um, it just has the Super Battle Droid legs in dark brown, has a droid torso with a single printed red dot right there. Um, standard droid arms, small length blaster. Might have come with a longer one, but this is just the one that I have on it. Um, so. Apologies if this is not the most accurate, but it doesn't change the comparison all that much. And the head does have some nice printing on it as well. So overall, um, pretty solid figure selection. I, I do like all three of these figures. I th and I think that LEGO has done a good job here. And I think that these figures definitely do stand the test of time to still be quite good in this modern, well, at least more modern era of LEGO Star Wars sets. So now that we've taken a look at the figures from the set, let's take a look at the builds from the 501st ATRT set. Alright, so the 501st ATRT has two different builds in it. Um, some people count this as a figure. I count it as a build because it's not really a figure. But we'll take a look at this build first. So this is a sniper droidica, as you might be able to tell. Um, it has a giant sniper sort of barrel off the front of it. It has sort of the regular eyes and sensors and stuff that a droidica would and stuff. Um, this is a pretty cool figure or build at least, whichever you decide to call it. Um, there's not really any action fe feature or anything with it. It does look quite nice though, and you know, it's it's good to spice up your droid army a bit with, you know, some not just standard droidicas. So overall, this is pretty cool. Um, again, no action features or anything, but it, it's nice, and I, I do like that they included this, and 
you can move this around and stuff, um, which is probably an action feature in some capacity, but, you know, that's, that's what they've got going on here, and I think that they have done a good job with the sniper droids, so... Now we will take a look at the main focus of this set, the ATRT itself. Um, we'll start at the bottom here with the legs. Um, yeah, very similar construction to the newest one that came out. And you can pretty much get the same poses out of it. Um, you can get some walking slash running poses if you try to use the toes um, to some to some degree of effectiveness. Um, I, I can't seem to get it right now. But you can get some decent poses out of the, out of this thing. Come on, give me a give me a good pose. Come on, just, just stand up, please. It's like, please, I need this. Stand up. Or maybe you can't get some good poses out of this. I don't know. There's some some poses you can get. Unfortunately, I'm just not getting any of them right now. You can get that, okay? So I mean, that that's pretty all right. But yeah, you can get pretty much the same poses you can get out of the new one, out of this one. Um, because if you couldn't tell, they have a very similar construction, especially in the legs. I think the only thing that's different between the two really is just the sides of the feet. I think that's the really, only the really different, only the real difference. And I'm sorry if these are a bit dusty. They've been sitting on my shelves and I, I didn't dust them before this. So now we'll move up a bit to the sort of top section here. Taking a look at this, you have the same sort of linkages in the new one. So pretty neat. Pretty much... Um, this build is very similar to the new one in a, in a lot of, more than a few ways, I'll say. But you also do have the blaster cannon up here at the front. Again, cannot be the elevation. If you want to change that, you've got to change the elevation at the top of the walker. But it does swivel from side to side and does have a pretty good deal of friction, so it won't just swing around willy-nilly on you, which is good. And then the front here, two stickers, um, not the only stickers on the set, you have 501st stickers on these side panels as well. So I like the amount of detailing they've put on here. And if you move that forward, you can, you're not supposed to do that, but you can get a very interesting look. And here is the sort of cockpit area, so you can take your 501st trooper and sit him down in there. Um, I guess if you wanted to put his blaster somewhere, you can just press it into one of those holes. I mean, I don't think that's that was intended on the set but you can do it. And again, I'm not going to clip his hands in, but it's pretty easy to see he can reach the handlebars. Um, so, yeah, pretty nice. And you also do have these antennas up here, which can't be angled or anything. They're just stuck on there permanently. So, overall, that's all that there really is to look at for the 501st ACRT build itself. So now that we've taken a look at both versions of this set before the most recent one, I think it's time to compare all of these versions to each other. Alright, so here are all the figures that you get from these sets if you were to buy each of them. Um, the 2005 one only comes with one figure, so there you go. The 2013 version comes with three figures, all of which I think are done quite well. And this figure I think is done quite well too. And then the most recent 2019 version comes with four figures, one of which is the Anniversary Darth Vader. So pretty nice, um, I think all, all these figures are well done. The Battle Droid's kind of bland now, so three good figures and a decent figure. Um, as far as the figure selection, as far as which is the best is concerned, um, I think I have to give it to the 2019 version for having the best figure selection, 2013 version for having the second best figure selection, and the 2005 version for the worst figure selection. I think that having four figures, even if one of them is an anniversary figure and the other is a battle droid, really helps this set out. Um, obviously, this figure is very desirable. Um, so it's kind of a mix between what you want. So for that reason, I think for the point values, um, I'm going to tie these two and just give this guy one point. So three points going for the 2019 version, three points going for the 2013 version, and one point for the 2005 version. Um, 2005 version, this is a very nice figure, but it uh, just doesn't hold up to having three and four figures in a set. So it kind of got screwed over there, but still a very good figure. If you want some nostalgia, then you can go hit up that figure in that set as well for that sort of thing. And really the only th reason why I tied these two is because 501st Troopers are such a coveted figure these days that they only really came in two sets being this and I think the Z95 Headhunter was the other one that had a 501st Trooper in it. But yeah, 501st Troopers, very hard to come by, very coveted figures. So for that reason I think that Having the 501st Trooper in this set really does knock out the Battle Droid and maybe some of the other figures as well. So I'm tying these two. So both these guys get three points and this guy gets one point. So 
those are the figures. I think that all of these sets have pretty good figures in them. And whether whether it's nostalgia value or just desired figures, I think that all of them have done a decent job, but these two have done the best. So now that we've taken a look at the figure selection from these sets, let's compare the actual vehicles and builds that you get in them. All right, so now we'll take a look at all of the builds from all of these sets combined as far as two different things go. I think first we'll take a look at display value for these sets. Um, this this 2005 version looks quite good in my opinion. Um, still does hold up relatively well for what, what they've done here. And I do like it quite a lot. 2013 version, 501st ATRT, um, very well very well done. I do like the ATRT build for the most part, and this sniper droid is also a nice inclusion. But as far as the 2019 version goes, you just you just get so much stuff here. It's almost it's almost ridiculous. You get four different builds. You get not only the ATRT, but you get a dwarf spider droid, a Kashyyyk sort of barricade, and a stand for the Darth Vader figure, which you know isn't very visually appealing. But when you put the Darth Vader figure on there, it's actually quite nice. So I think that for um, looks overall, um, besides the fact that all of these ATRTs are horribly out of scale, <laughs> um, they should be a lot shorter than they are. But I think that just just due to the sheer volume of good stuff that it has, and I have to give it to the 2019 version. Um, there's just so much stuff in the 2019 version, especially compared to the 2005 version, which is just the ATRT. That you could you could like set up a whole battle with this thing. You could kind of do it with the 2013 version. You can't really do it with the 2005 version at all. Um, but there's just so much stuff, and I think they've done such a good job on most of the stuff here. Obviously, stud shooters are egregious. I don't really like this antenna choice. Um, but besides that, I think that they've just done such a good job on the 2019 version that I have to give it three points, even though. The ATRT builds between the 2019 version and the 2013 version are just so strikingly similar that it's almost ridiculous. Like, the entire bottom half of these sets, pretty much except for the heads of the ATRTs, are almost exactly the same, with maybe color swapped in two pieces or so changed out on each of them. So, very similar, but I think just the sheer volume of stuff that the 2019 version has just really edges out both the other ones. And I've got to, I've got to give it to second for the 2013 version here. Um, it it does look quite nice with an updated modern design for the 2015. What am I saying? The 501st ATRT and also the sniper droid really does help give it a few ex, uh, just a bit of an extra leg up over the, the 2005 version. Which it don't get me wrong, the 2005 version looks good, and but it just doesn't have all of the same bells and whistles that the 2013 version has and it, it just doesn't have the sheer volume of stuff as well as all those bells and whistles that the 2019 version has so as far as the points go I've got to give the 2019 version three points the 2013 version two points and the 2005 version one point but if you're really going for the for the nostalgia pick up the 2005 version it's it's quite nostalgic for me especially but now I guess we'll take a look at the playability of all of these sets. Um, as I've mentioned in this video in my review of the 2019 ATRT, um, the, really the only playability you have with these two is just angling stuff, which you know it's cool for display, but not really for play. But with the 2019 version, you know you've got stud shooters, you've got all kinds of stuff to play with. You know you've got you've got a Wookie, you've got clones. You've got a battle droid to, to go in with your dwarf spider droid. You've even got a Darth Vader figure if you want Darth Vader to show up in the battle. Um, so, you know, what's not to like about the 2019 version? And again, I, I kind of have to give it to the 2019 version because there's just so much stuff in the 2019 version that even though it's $10 more than the 2013 one and $20 more than the 2005 one when it originally released... Um, <laughs> There's just so much stuff in it that it kind of just gives it a leg up over the other two models and pretty much both of those areas. Um, there's just there's just so much stuff for playability. Um, you have both the ATRT and the Dwarf Spider Droid actually firing projectiles, unlike both the other two sets which don't have any projectile firing going on in either of them. So really, I think that'll give a lot of play value for those who are looking to play with these sets. You know, you can actually shoot stuff with them so I think really and besides just the sheer volume of stuff giving it more stuff to shoot at I've got to give the 2019 version the three points on this one um, 
Again, 2013 version is coming in second because while you may not be able to shoot stuff, you actually do have some opposition in this set to fight against with your ATRT. So even if Yoda is going to make the fight horribly lopsided as well as the ATRT helping that gap, um, it still does give you something to fight against. So some more play value besides you know, just having your ATRT and your clone go on adventures, which is pretty much, unfortunately, all the 2005 version offers, besides the posability, which all of these sets pretty much offer. Um, I think the 2005 one does offer the best posability, but it just it just is blown out of the water by the updated designs of these other two sets. Um, I think that, you know, again, nostalgia for this one, but still, best posability out of all of these sets for this one but still just doesn't have the extra stuff that really pushes it above and beyond like these other two sets do. So as far as the points go, three points for the 2019 version, two points for the blue 501st version, and one point for the 2005 version. So now that we've taken a look at all of the categories and we have all of the points, um, I'm sure that none of you will be surprised to find which set I have chosen as the victor of this comparison. Again, I'm sure everyone is extremely shocked to see that I picked that the 2019 version is the best ATRT, Clone Skywalker, what have you, that we've gotten so far. It just has so much more stuff than either of the other two sets, while having pretty much all the benefits of both those two sets, besides the possibility of the first version. But, you know, it, it, just, it just has so much more stuff, and it has all of the perks of the 2013 version, besides the, the, besides the 501st Trooper, pretty much that the other ones have so really um, not only is the walker a good walker but really all this other stuff helps it out quite a lot to gain the edge over the other two versions of the set in this comparison so yeah um, that's that's the uh, that's at least the conclusion I reached um, the 2019 version based on the categories that I compare on is the best out of all of these sets so as far as my recommendation go, if you want the best out of all the ATRTs, go pick up this set. Um, it's quite it's quite a good set. Um, obviously, if you don't have any other ones, if if you have the 2013 version already and you're just looking for the ATRT, and you don't need really all of this extra stuff. That's that's cool, but extra stuff. Um, don't you don't need to pick up this set. Um, like I said. This ATRT is so similar to the 2013 version that unless you need this specific version of the ATRT and you don't care to collect all of them, um, just stick with the 2013 version. It, it won't, it will not disappoint you because pretty much everything except for the stud shooters and the folding antennas are pretty much exactly the same between the two sets. Um, but as far as nostalgia goes, if you're looking for something nostalgic. Um, 2005 ATRT is not a bad choice. You know, it's got that nice nostalgic 2005 sort of Lego building style with the limited elements that they had available at that time that really just give it that sort of, I hate to say nostalgia again, but that nostalgic look. Um, and it does have a very cool, unique, um, exclusive to that set figure as well. So very good on that front, but I think that overall, not only having all pretty much all of the pros of the 2013 ATRT, well, except for the handlebars, but that's a different that's a different discussion, um, and just all of the extra stuff that didn't come in just the sheer volume that it did in either of the previous versions. I think really has propelled this one to be the best ATRT that we have so far. So if another one of these sets comes out as just a standalone ATRT, um, I will probably compare all of these sets again just just you know because we can but i think that for right now the 2019 version is the best version of the atrt that we have maybe not from an accuracy perspective because i mean a lot of the ones that come out with the turbo tanks and such that are like this tall are way more accurate than this is but as far as the standalone ATRT sets go I think that the 2019 version is the best one we've gotten so that is going to wrap up my comparison of all the ATRTs let me know which one you think is the best and why in the comments section below I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this discussion so yep that's it thanks everybody so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye